Hey guys, so today's video clearly was not planned. Um, as you can tell, I'm not wearing a nice outfit, I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, my hair is just in a ponytail. This video is just going to be me sitting down, not caring about my appearance, just sitting down and talking to you guys about uh, my health condition. Um, by the title, you probably already know that I did have a relapse. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave my original video in the description. But basically, I'm 16 years old now. At 15 and a half, I was diagnosed with neuromyelitis optica, also known as NMO or Devix disease, which is a rare autoimmune condition that affects the spinal cord and the optic nerves. Relapses are actually quite common, and uh, they could occur at any given point or time. So unfortunately mine did occur pretty quickly after I was diagnosed. Um, I was treated and then sent home and then just a few months later, I think it was one and a half months, maybe one month, I was back in the hospital having a relapse. And basically I'm not going to get into a bunch of detail but I do want to tell my relapse story in the hopes of maybe opening people's eyes up to the fact that um, invisible diseases aren't actually invisible and also just to educate anyone who may be suffering from NMO or anyone who just would like to know more about just this NMO condition. So here is my relapse story. It started on an August morning. It was just a regular morning and I woke up and nothing seemed different than the day before. Um, until I stood up and I noticed that my feet were numb, uh, my toes in particular. Um, I didn't really think anything of it. I kind of thought I was overreacting at first and I tried to just push it out of my, out of my head like you're just being paranoid, like settle down, it's gonna be okay. Uh, but I was very aware of what was going on and I didn't tell anyone at first because like I said I didn't want to be overreacting. Um, but like I said also, I was very much aware and if I noticed it was getting worse, I would definitely tell my parents. I noticed throughout the day I was just feeling really yucky. I was very fatigued that day, which is a symptom that can uh, definitely um, occur on a day-to-day -day basis with um, patients with NMO. And I just was feeling really gross. So uh, basically the the symptoms did kick in a lot worse and I started to have more symptoms just one on top of the other and I noticed that um, symptoms that I had had before when I first uh, was diagnosed they were coming back so that's when I knew that something definitely wasn't right I told my mom uh, and my mom talked to my dad and then they basically decided to call the neurologist uh, that was like on call 24 7 so it was too late at the time to call them that night so my mom decided to call them in the morning first thing and they said they wanted me to go in and get an MRI um, which is how they would figure out if I had more lesions on my spinal cord which would be causing the symptoms um, and to see how um, inflamed my spinal cord was. So uh, basically I went in for an MRI at um, I guess our local hospital. We went down there, I had my MRI, it took four and a half hours, it was awful, I hated it. Um, and then they noticed that I had more lesions on my spine so they knew that I had to go down to the hospital so they transported me downtown um, and I had uh, the same treatment I had done before um, called plasmapheresis done. I had to have a catheter placed in my neck. Something different that they did this particular time while I was hospitalized is they um, they wanted to send me home early with the catheter placed. So I had this really uneasy feeling about it. I just I didn't think it was a good idea. Um, the previous time I had plasmapheresis done, um, around the third treatment, I was feeling really nauseous, and um, and uh, I was just worried that that would happen again. Doctors were like, "Well, you look great. You you're responding to the treatment. It seems so. We're gonna send you home." So I went home. Uh, they gave me the protocol on how to take care of um, my pick line, and they just sent me home. So. Um, 
of course, the following day, I was nauseous all day. I couldn't even stand up. If I stood up, I thought I was going to throw up. And I never actually did throw up every time I would get nauseous, but, you know, you can be worried. <laughs> and then the following morning, it was that was a Friday morning, I was supposed to go in um, as, as an outpatient for plasmapheresis. I was, I think, supposed to have two more treatments, and then I would have the line taken out at some point. So, uh, Friday morning comes, and I can't even get out of bed. I feel so nauseous. I just have this feeling like I'm going to throw up. If I get up, I will throw up. So my mom, not wanting to be late or anything, she's like, come on, Megan, you got to get up. You go brush your teeth, try to eat something. You know, you got to get up. I'm sure, you know, this will just pass. I'll give you some Zofran to try to help. So I get in the bathroom, I start brushing my teeth, and... I just started throwing up. The rest of the day, um, I wasn't throwing up at all, but I was severely nauseous and I just, I laid in bed and I couldn't do anything. Um, my mom called the plasmapheresis clinic and the lead doctor of the clinic refused to let me come in to have my treatment done. My mom was saying repeatedly, like, this is the NMO acting up. My mom called my neurologist, and the neurologist called the plasmapheresis doctor and was telling her, listen, I, I am the doctor, I know this disease, this is the NMO, and she just would not let me come in. So that night, I started throwing up again, and from then on, I could not stop throwing up. It was like every 15 minutes. It was awful, and I'm sorry I'm getting into detail, but I feel like it's very important that you guys know this because this is the reality of NMO. Finally, the following day, um, we went into the hospital, and I was back. Um, they were giving me medicine that I was telling them uh, wasn't going to work to help with my nausea. Um, Zofran was not working. They were like, oh, well, we'll give it to you anyway, and of course I threw it right back up. Um, finally, they gave me Phenergan, which finally settled the nausea. About a day and a half later, I had some fluids in me from uh, an IV and I was beginning to eat a little bit and I finally was able to uh, stand up and um, and luckily things settled down but I was just so scared the entire time like what if I can't stop throwing up what what are we gonna do I was just so terrified and so you know the short visit in the hospital ended up backfiring and causing me to be in the hospital for an additional 10 to 12 days. It, it really did not make things better in the end. I guess a big lesson I learned um, through that experience was I need to stand up for what I think and what I believe despite the fact that I'm only 16. Like I need to express my feelings and I need to tell um, how I feel and I need to be the one in charge. I guess my message for you guys today is just to um, be aware that everyone out there is experiencing something even if you can't see it from the outside. Just because I, I might look healthy on the outside, it doesn't mean that I am okay on the inside. If you could see all of the damage in my spine, if you could see the x-rays, if you could ask the doctors how I'm doing, they would not say I'm 100% fine. I'm not going to be ever 100%. It's just not going to happen. And um, there's a lot of people out there that assume that, you know, everyone is great. And the reality of it is that not everyone is great. So I guess my message for you guys today is to just be um, aware of that, be kind, uh, be helpful, be gracious, be respectful. And um, I think it'll just make our world a happier place. It'll make me happy and I think it'll also end up making you happy. If you guys want to see more of these types of videos, please let me know. Um, I really want to start making more inspirational videos. I feel like that would actually help me too. Um, just to kind of take my own advice sometimes when I'm feeling really down. I'm on a lot of medicine and sometimes it can really just affect my mood and uh, make me feel down, but I'm trying to stay happy. I'm trying to, you know, spread the word about my disease and have myself heard as well as all the other people out there that are experience, experiencing this terrible disease. You know, your voices need to be heard and I'm going to try to help you. So 
Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Please share this video if you want to further educate other people and have an amazing day. Bye.